Hey everybody, I'm Argolfump, and this is Nancy Drew number 8, The Haunted Carousel. This was the first Nancy Drew game I ever played, so it holds a very special place in my heart. It's one of my favorite games of the entire series. I can't wait to play it. Welcome to my latest case, The Haunted Carousel. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird things that have been happening here lately. First, a horse just disappeared off the carousel one night. Then, a little later, the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the dead of night, as if it was haunted or something. And then, last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped in mid-ride for no apparent reason. Nobody was seriously hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, which is next to the park. I'm supposed to head over there right now and meet with a security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. P.S. There's a rumor going around that the park is cursed. Creepy, huh? Mm, the cursed haunted park. I really do like the the park and the setting for this game. We visit all sorts of locations in the amusement park, and it's just it's just fun. It really makes the most of the locations. Both this, uh, I think, and the previous game make a make the most of their location. Whereas, uh, sorry, this and the next game, uh, which is number nine. Oh my gosh, I can remember the name of it. It's the one where they go to Seattle? Whatever, I'll remember well, it later. The lady who just entered the park, please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left. Thank you. We're, we're, we, we need to talk to a whale right now. I'm going to be swallowed up by a whale. Ahoy, mateys, employees only. Well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gatecrasher. I'm Nancy Drew. Awesome person. You must be Harlan. Paula Santa said you'd be expecting me. Which means you must be Nancy Drew, famous teen detective. <laughs> yeah. Substitute the word amateur for famous. And yes, that's me. I don't know. Miss Santo seems to have a lot of faith in you. Apparently more than she does in some people around here. Ooh, does she not like you? Sorry. You're not offended that I'm here, are you? Me? Nah. I'm too busy to be offended. Truth is, I begged Miss Santos to keep me on while the park's closed. Even agreed to a pay cut. You must really like your job. I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. So what are your thoughts on this haunted carousel business? Somebody swiped the horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal, and frankly, neither do I. What about the roller coaster? What about the roller coaster? Accidents happen. Of course, Ingrid will tell you that these so-called accidents are really the result of the park's karma getting bent out of shape by negative energy or some such gobbledygook. Who's Ingrid? Ingrid Corey. You'll probably meet her. She's working during the shutdown, too. She's the park's chief engineer. Believes in all this wacky new age psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, you'll get scurvy or something. Yeah, so Harlan is basically telling us who everybody is. That that's his job here at the start of the game. Where can I find her? First things first. You won't be meeting her or Elliot Chen, the park's art director, until after you go see the park's bookkeeper, Joy Trent. Miss Santos's orders. Joy pays all the bills, so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. That would certainly help. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Let's you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. Woo! Playing fun games. Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. Why wouldn't Joy give me one of these? Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. It had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Joy's office is. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store. Department store. You know, as a security guard. In Flemington. Not around here. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, you seem really confident about your prior job experience. I'm totally gonna believe you, sir. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? We didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the theft, but we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Wanna see it? If it's not too much of a hassle. I got the tape right here all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, they weren't real impressed. There's no sound, on the tape at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. Hmm. Mysterious. So, uh, what was with that, uh, weird burst of static? Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Probably just a glitch in the tape. We use them over and over. Have you tried to prove your screwed up wiring theory? I ain't no cop. But now that you're here, maybe you can prove it for me. I'll see you around. Have fun. I'm not a cop, but maybe you could do my job for me. The phone me. number for the police. That might come in handy. That's, that's nice. That's nice, Harlan. That's very nice. Alrighty, we do want to snoop in his locker at one point. Please don't open that. Sorry, bad habit. Ah, but we can't do it while he's around, otherwise we will get in trouble. And this is the power grid, which we will fix at another point. And yeah, so we've got all these various locations we can visit, all sorts of fun places. And I really Hello. like that. Hi, Nancy. Oh. It's Paula Santos. I was wondering when I'd hear from you. Have you been out to the park? Yes, I have. I forgot to tell you, all the rides are shut down except for the carousel. I thought you might need to see it in action, but please take a good look at the roller coaster even if you can't ride it. Okay, I will. First chance I get. Great. Feel free to inspect the tracks all you want. I'm sure you'll do a better job than the police. They looked around for five minutes then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I can't wait to hear what you turn up. Call me as often as you like. My phone's on and with me 24-7. Oh, and one more thing. Call me Paula. All right. Goodbye, Paula. All righty. So let's ride the carousel. Let's go for a spin See on how the haunted this By carousel the way, you have is. four fun credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride. Ha ha. Yar. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. The yeah, carousel definitely. will be starting in three seconds, so hang on tight! And don't forget to try for the brass ring! Yeah! For a pirate-themed carousel. Arr, arr, arr. So both this game and Danger on Deception Island, I feel, do a really good job with the uh, their locations. Ah, missed. As opposed to the previous game, Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake, like, that takes place in Pennsylvania. You wouldn't know that from the game. There's nothing particularly Pennsylvanian about that game. But this this game really does make the most. Oh! Come on, Nancy. This game makes the most of its cool carousel, I the carousel setting. I was trying to grab the brass ring and reach too far. You were what? It's kind of a long story. Uh-oh, I have to hang up now. They want to x-ray my head. I should probably come down there and have my head examined, too. What was I thinking, asking you to play detective? Well, I know what I'm thinking now. You're off the case. <laughs> oh, I'm off the case. Really? Really? The carousel will be starting in three seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. Yeehaw! Poor Nancy. First day on the job, here falls the off the carousel. Ring. Okay, here we go. Gotcha! Got it! Okay. That's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to grab the brass ring, that's all. I wasn't trying to fall off and die. I, I was actually trying to succeed. Here it comes again. Alright, that's it, that's it. I do love how we have two ferris wheels. I mean, one ferris wheel isn't enough, so we need a second ferris wheel. Some of these things are gonna be, like, stopped. This takes an employee access card. Yeah. 
This takes an employee access card. That prevents me from exploring the, uh, this area. It, it prevents me from exploring too much here at the start of the game. So I think we get the access card from Joy. Let's talk to her. Hey Joy, how's it going? Hello, are you Nancy? That's right, I'm Nancy Drew. So Ms. Santos has filled you in? Yes, although I don't know who she thinks she's fooling. What? What do you mean? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. You say she's actually guilty? Are you saying she did have something to do with it? I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? Is Ms. Santos aware of the way you feel about her? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been hurt. Except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula could have bailed him out, but she didn't. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. I like this first conversation option. Right. Um, I'm supposed to get an access card from you. I really don't care about your dead father and your financial problems. <laughs> it's very insensitive. Be that as it may, I'd still like to talk to some of the other employees. Of course. But before I forget, here's your access card. That should get you into all the private areas of the park. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop. But try not to bug him. Why? Is he temperamental? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. People are being kind of mean to Joy in the chat. I like Joy. Yeah, I, I, she seems like she would be really, really tall. Like, way taller than I am. But, you know, that's just me. The haunted house used to be a ballroom. How's that for irony? Very strange. I guess she was watching me as I was just looking around. Okay if I peek in here? Go ahead and look around. Excuse all the clutter. I'm still trying to get this place organized. Hmm, looks like stenography. It's a memo about one of the carousel horses being sold. I wonder which horse. Yeah, we're gonna need to know the name of that horse for a puzzle later on, and we're also gonna need to know this. We need to know that this guy has giant hair. Giant hair. No, 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 Detective Paris, he's right here. He found some stolen jewels at the park. See the stolen hey, jewels. jewels. Maybe that's what whoever stole that carousel horse was after. Jewels from that heist. They were hidden inside one of the carousel horses, but some of the jewels were not found. Perhaps they were f hidden inside a different carousel horse. And that is in fact the case. One of the carousel horses has a bunch of hidden jewels in it. You'd think they would have checked all the carousel horses immediately. But no, they did not. That was not a very smart move on their part. Alrighty, so let's check out this area. Now that we have this thingamabobber. What? What do you mean, no, I can't access this area? What do you mean, no, I can't access this area? What? What's the point of giving me an access card if the access card isn't even going to work? Urgh. And this is that horse that was stolen. Horse was stolen. Do they have pictures of the stolen horse, maybe? Would that help me? Well, can I break into the Tidal Terror roller coaster? Hmm. Hmm. This one's been red tagged. I wonder what the deal is with this red tag. It's got a puzzle. It's got a puzzle protecting it. That's what the red tag is. So I need to solve that puzzle at one point. 
And let's see, is the Demons of the Deep area open? Okay, all these things are broken. All these things are broken. I can't go anywhere. I'm gonna yell at Ingrid. Ingrid, you've gotta let me, you've gotta let me into these places. Why won't you let me in, Ingrid? Looking for someone? The word in is in your first name, so you should let me in to all these spots. If you're Ingrid Corey, not anymore. That's me. Ordinarily, I don't do the hands-on work, and I'd be able to shake your hand, Ms. Drew. Nancy Drew. I'm sorry, Drew. Nancy Drew. I'm helping Ms. Santos discover what's behind these carousel hauntings. Okay if I ask you some questions? Sure. Oh my. You've got B3 issues. I do? Vitamin B3. Niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing that some natural peanut butter on a slice of whole wheat bread once a day won't fix. Sorry, I only eat cheeseburgers and milkshakes. That's the only thing I eat. So, yeah, it's it's my diet. It works for me. Harlan Bishop mentioned that some of your beliefs concerning food were somewhat unconventional. It just seems obvious to me that what you eat, as well as the psycho-spiritual conditions under which you eat it, results in what you are, that's all. Psycho-spiritual conditions. That's... Weird, so you should only eat after meditating? I think that's what she's saying? Have you worked at Captain's Cove for very long? A little less than two years. I started out in maintenance and worked my way up. I've held the supervisory position for the last ten months. Miss Santos asked me to figure out why weird things have been happening around here lately. What's to figure out? Someone stole a horse off the carousel and now the park is cursed. For real? So you think this cursed thing is real? The man who carved the horses, Kessler. He said if they were ever separated, bad luck would follow. And it has. Right. So she really does believe in ghosts and spiritual food. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those blueprints and can't find them anywhere. I'm sure one of the other engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. How well do you know Harlan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trenton. I also know it drives him nuts that this is one of the few places in the park he doesn't have a key for. I thought he said he was from Flemington. Hmm. Alright, I need to ask about the access card, which wasn't working. I don't seem to be having much luck using my access card. Am I doing something wrong? I deactivated most of the readers because of the shutdown. Soon as I get done here, I'll get them online again. Sorry. Hey, if you come across a pair of pliers, hang on to them, okay? Mine are missing. Someone must Will have walked do. off with them. Any idea why someone would steal a horse off a carousel? Money. I hear they can be very valuable. I'd like to take a closer look at the roller coaster, but the access card reader doesn't work. It's got this red tag on it. Right. I was in the process of upgrading its main circuitry board. I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until I finish here. Unless you'd like to do it for me. No, no, you could do your own job. I'll just stay here and play on the carousel, maybe. Do you really think I could handle it? It's not exactly brain surgery. All you have to do is follow the schematic inside the reader. Here's the new macro resistor. When you see the board, you'll be able to see where it goes. You'll need to solder it in place, which means you're going to have to get my soldering gun from Elliot Chen. Here's the engineering handbook I put together. If you have questions about park-related electronics, it'll answer them. Keep it as long as you like. Okay. When you're all done, remove the red tag and take it to Harlan. That way he'll know it's safe to turn the power back on to the reader. That's not my cell phone. It must be yours. Are you going to answer it? No, that would be rude. I'll just call them back. So, once you get that tool from Elliot, you should be all set. Sounds good. Yeah, I can solve that puzzle. Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Plus, I happen to adore my job. Thanks for your help. No big deal. All right. So that's... <laughs> that's Ingrid Corey, a very good engineer, but with unconventional beliefs about food. Uh, I believe that's mine. Sorry, bad habit. I'm just trying to spy on your stuff, Ingrid. Come on, calm down. Guess we can't spy on the rest of her stuff then. Fine, fine. Let's do. Let's. Le, let's meet Elliot. Get that tool from him. 
Hang on, I'll be right with you. Take your time. Uh-oh. Oops. Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? Okay. Oops. I made a mess. Haven't heard from Joy yet. Out. How did he know it was me? I, I it could have been Harlan, maybe. Well, let's go back to Joy. But she's not here. Instead, we have a robot monster. Who are you and what are you doing? Who said that? I said that over here on top of the cabinet. Keep going over here. Yeah, look, look, this is so cool. One of my favorite parts of the game. It's Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Please identify yourself. I'm a detective named Nancy Drew, and you are? I am Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. I receive and process video and audio input and make appropriate pre-programmed verbal responses. Who programmed you? It is my turn to ask a question, Nancy Drew. Why are you here when Joy is not? Elliot Chen is kind of upset with me. I need to write her a note to call him. There is a pad for leaving messages on the desk. So, who programmed you? So, who programmed you? Responding to the non-joy entity is an unnecessary drain on my power units and is heretofore disallowed. What does that mean? Hello? Miles? I guess it means he's not going to talk to me anymore. Oh, I like Miles. I've been in the chat saying you need he's creepy and it's a creepy robot and you need to run away. No, 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 no. He's cool. He's cool. He's 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 a nice robot, hmm, I think. Looks like Joy's a pencil chewer. That's gross. That's that's pretty gross there. Let's write this message. I can use this to leave a note for Joy to call Elliot. Joy, please call Elliot. Thanks, Nancy Drew. Alrighty, so did she call yet? Oh. Hello? My Hi, own Nancy. phone call. Paul Santos. You know, I just had a thought. There's a newspaper article and photo in Joy's office that I want you to be sure to take a look at. They're in a frame on the wall. Already looked at it. Why were they framed? They're a little piece of park history. The guy in the photo found a bunch of jewels that had been stolen in a heist years ago and stashed away on one of the rides at Captain's Cove. The police said there was a good chance more jewels would turn up. Maybe that's why someone stole that carousel horse, because there were jewels hidden inside it. My thoughts exactly. I called the detective that was in charge of the investigation back then. His name is K.J. Paris. He's going to call you. Oops, I gotta run. I just wanted to give you a heads up. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Bye, Paula. Sorry, can't talk. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, but I need to get the, the thing from you, sir. You were gonna give me... I'll just steal your tape, maybe? I can use this to measure. Oh, wow, man. a lathe. Lathe? That's so cool. And I don't think he lets us spy on him. <clears throat> yeah, he doesn't want me to spy on that. Ooh, fun, fun. Wow, yeah. 360 board feet. That's a lot of wood. Yeah. That's an awful lot of wood you're buying here, sir. Mind if I look at this? No, go right ahead. A book on carousels. Cool. This has some educational information about carousel horses, the styles, the inner side and the romance side, and their names and, and such. I don't need to check it out yet. Sorry, can't talk. Busy, busy, busy. Come on, dude. Uh -er. We need to talk to him at some point. Maybe I'll go to the Midway Games. Hello? This oh. is Detective K.J. Paris, Captain's Cove Police Department. Paula Santos asked me to call you. Said it concerned that heist out of Captain's Quarters 23 years ago? Well, I was thinking maybe the reason that horse was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove two weeks ago was because somebody thought there were jewels from that heist inside it. Hmm. Never occurred to me, but it's possible, I suppose. The thief's name was Chaz Dunning. Died in prison about a year ago. 
I'll tell you what. I'll make some calls, try to see if there was somebody he confided in before he died. Somebody who was recently released. I'm sure Paula will be very appreciative. Well, as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks, Detective Paris. It was great talking to you. Ditto. Fantastic. Now will Elliot talk to me? Hello? Why is everybody Hi, calling me? Paris, I got some preliminary info on that jewel thief. You know Chaz Dunning? Great. Let's hear it. Okay. Before he died, he got to be real good buddies with his cellmate at New Jersey State Prison. And his cellmate was paroled less than two months ago. That's very interesting. Do you have any idea what he looks like? Dark hair, medium build, clean shaven, heavy Jersey accent. Like I said, I'm still in the process of making calls. I just thought I'd let you know what I had so far. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Yeah, that guy called back super fast. Well, Miss Destructo returns. And now he's willing to talk to me. Okay, hi, Elliot. I'm really sorry about what happened before. These things happen. So, I hear you're out to solve the curse of Captain's Cove. What do you think caused the roller coaster accident? That was no accident. It was sabotage. Why do you say that? Because I'm pulling your leg, that's why. Come on, what do I know? I'm just an artist. Go ask our naturopathic engineer person. Do you have any idea who stole that horse off the carousel? Somebody who's into junk. But, 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 Ingrid said it's worth lots and lots of money. That's odd. Ingrid said carousel horses can be very valuable. Well, when they're the original horses, they can be valuable, yes. But I was talking about the one that was stolen. It was not an original. Around 18, 20 years ago, somebody bought one of the horses off the carousel. The guy who owned the park back then commissioned some hack to replace it. And that's the horse that was stolen. The replacement? Right. Well, oh, that's, um, that's, that's definitely important news. So, let's ask about the soldering gun, because that's what we came here for. Ingrid said you have her soldering gun. I need to get it from you, if that's okay. You bet. Here you go. Been meaning to return it to her, but I've been a little busy. Great. Thanks. The fact that the park is shut down must be kind of a relief for you. You mean because I'm behind in my work? I'd be lying if I said the shutdown wasn't helping me get caught up. Meeting deadlines has never been my forte. But I certainly hope you're not suggesting that I arranged for the park to be shut down by somehow manufacturing this curse thing because that would be ridiculous. All right, Elliot, do you see a lot of the other people here at the park? Do you see much of the other people who are working during the shutdown? Like Joy Trent or that security guard, Harlan Bishop? Nah. Joy Trent? She's, like, invisible even when she's visible, if you get my drift. And that rent -a cop I've got no desire to see anything of him. Did you two have some kind of run-in? What, like a fight or something? How could we? He's one of the nicest, friendliest, most helpful guys I've ever met. <laughs> totally creeps me out. I found this receipt on the floor. Looks like you bought a lot of basswood recently. I'll take that, thank you. You're welcome. I'll let you get back to work. Keep it real. Keeping it real, man. Alrighty, so Elliot, uh, he gave us a soldering gun. So now we can solve the title terror, the, 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 the roller, the tongue twister this title terror roller coaster. Card. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna put this in, and then now I need to figure out how to get um, like resistors, which is this is more complicated than I thought. You need to get 15, right? That's what the note said. So it's gonna be brown, black, black, and then green. So. Brown, black, black, and then green. We're gonna connect those. I think that's it. There, that looks right. Hey, hey, that was easy. And now that I'm done, I take the red tag and I give it to Harlan. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Could you turn the power back on to the card reader outside the roller coaster? It's all fixed. Here's the tag. You bet. I'll just switch the circuit back on and you'll be all set. And hey, you lied to me about where you're from? Why? Ingrid said you told her that you were a bouncer before you came to work here. In Trenton, not Flemington. Uh, right. I was. For a while. I've held almost every guard-type job there is. Lived in a lot of different places, too. Trenton, Jersey City, Flemington, Cape May. 
I'm afraid I got off on the wrong foot with Elliot. I spilled paint all over something he'd been working on. Ooh, not good. The guy's already about a month behind in his work. Ooh, ouch, really? Any idea why he's so far behind? He's a procrastinator, doesn't really like to work, so he does whatever he can to avoid it. Puts things off to the last minute. Me, I get stuff done right away. You do too, I'll bet. I think he was just, he's really, really stuck trying to draw a picture of a starfish. Doesn't quite know how to do it, and so all of his work has just crashed for weeks now. Is he in danger of losing his job? Way I hear it, if he doesn't get caught up like fast, he's gonna be waving bye-bye like soon. May I see that tape of the carousel haunting again? I got the tape right here all queued up. Like I said, the police weren't real impressed. Ooh. Huh. They're bouncing up and down. That's fun. I'll see you around. Knock him dead. Alrighty, and I don't need to give the red... I, I already gave the red tag to him, so I'm fine on that front. So, my employee access card should work here. Nice. Alright, here we are. So this is the emergency stop button. And what's this? This looks like one of Joy's. It's Joy's pencil! What is her pencil doing here? Does she, like, work here or something? I don't know about that. This seems suspicious to me. Ow! Oh! I'm trapped! Oh no! So Nancy's uh -oh. trapped. She is trapped. To get my foot loose, I need to switch the track somehow. Looks like I have to reconnect these wires. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Now I can turn the power on and see if these are properly connected. Hooray! There are six ways to connect these. I'll just have to try them all. Yeah, fortunately, fortunately there's only six ways, so it's not that tough. That's not right. Oh, come on. Alright. Um, let's try blue on the top. That's still not right. Really? Okay. Got it! Woohoo! Switch to track A. Oh. My toes. Thankfully. I still want to ride the roller coaster, you know. It might have almost crashed my foot, but it would be so cool to be riding on the roller coaster right now. I want to ride it. I want to ride the roller coaster. Alas, I cannot. And there's a cute kitty. Cute kitty, that's nice. That's really nice, yeah. So let's see, uh, Midway Carousel Games, maybe? Let's, let's do that. Nancy's foot is not broken. She has a very, very strong foot. If I play this game, I can Look win at you. anchor. You're about to play Squid Toss. By the way, you have three fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Uh, let's see. I think it's left and then this strength. Wow, that was too much. We'll try again. Time to play Squid Toss! In case you were wondering, you have two fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. So it's gonna be one left, and then shrimp. Excellent. Um, let's see... Two right, and dolphin, maybe? Nope. Yeah, this is kind of not a very fun midway game. It's just guess and hope you get it right. Ahoy, matey! Welcome to the squid toss. After this, you'll just have one fun credit left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. We definitely saved Nancy from a minute of terrible foot pain. We are nice people. Okay. Left, shrimp. Right, dolphin. And double right whale? No! Oh man! Oh! We'll 
get it this time. How about a game of squid toss? Uh-oh. You are using your last fun credit, so I'm keeping your card. That's no problem. Just get a new one. Catapult the squid through the hoop. All right. One left and shrimp. One right and dolphin. One right and whale! Woohoo! Yay, I got a token. Hooray. Uh oh, looks like it's out of order. I think we need to fix that one. I don't have my fun pass. How do I fix this? I guess we'll go to Ingrid and ask for help with fixing it. Hello, Nancy. Still on the case, I see. I got your soldering gun from Elliot and fixed that card reader. Does he borrow your tools a lot? Very rarely. He's not exactly a mechanical genius. Any advice on how to go about fixing a midway game that's broken? It needs to be reprogrammed. Open up the back. Should be some instructions on the clipboard. Check that handbook I gave you if they're too cryptic for you. But you'll also need the plug-in keyboard. And unfortunately, I have no idea where it is. One of my guys probably left it in the park somewhere. She's making me do her chores again. How well do you know Elliot Chen? Not very. But I've noticed he has a very strange aura. Very dark around the edges. Odd for an artist. But then, it's nowhere near as dark as Joy's. Her aura's a mess. Why do you think that is? She's hiding something. And she's hiding from something. Something very big and very dark. Plus, she eats way too many carbs. <laughs> to say nothing of pencils. Thanks for your help. You bet. <laughs> yeah. She just eats way too many pencils. That's that's Joy's problem. I think we can talk to her now. Need something? Do you by any chance know how to read shorthand? Sorry, sure don't. Do you ever talk to the other people who are working during the shutdown? I'm not very good at socializing. I couldn't even tell you what any of them look like, quite frankly. I go to work, I work, I go home. That's pretty much my life. Someone activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks just now. I barely managed to escape. Really? Are you sure it was on purpose? Maybe um, you accidentally tripped a switch or something. I was standing nowhere near a switch. Somebody just tried to murder me, okay, Joy? And I think it might be you. It was no accident. Does this pencil I found by the tracks look familiar? That looks like one of mine. But I didn't leave it there. I mean, just because you found one of my pencils, that hardly proves I'm guilty of something. Joy! While you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity came in here and snooped. Ah! You were snooping around in here? No, Miles, Miles, dude, I was just defending you, saying you're a really cool, nice guy, and you tattletale on me? Come on, buddy! Well, I came in here looking for you, yes, but... An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate area during your absence and exhibited non-random seeking behavior. Wow, he's just, he just keeps on tattletailing. Really, Miles, really? Why, why don't you just stop tattletailing for three seconds? I was just trying to do the job Miss Santos asked me to do. I didn't know I was being watched. My father was a frustrated inventor. After he died, I discovered that in his study. In his will, he said he made it just for me. I don't have room in my apartment, so I brought him here. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. As you noticed, he can be kind of a blabbermouth. The word blabbermouth is without meaning to Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. I mean, yeah. How was Nancy supposed to know Joy wasn't inside the office? Maybe Joy should lock her office door if she's not going to be there, huh? Well, okay, that's no excuse for snooping. But still, I did need to leave that note for her. I did not snoop around and go through her desk. Darn it, I lost a great opportunity to snoop through her desk and her purse and everything. Jeez, I should have thought about that. Oh, well, <clears throat> what what's the deal with Miles anyway? Is he just here to, like, tattletale and spy on intruders? Does he do anything else besides blabber? My father said he invented Miles in order to reacquaint me with my childhood. It always bothered him that I was never as happy-go-lucky as he was. What am I, Miles? Joy Trent is a party-pooping stick in the mud. 
So my father programmed him with a bunch of riddles designed to reconnect me with long-lost memories from my childhood. I love riddles. That sounds fascinating. I don't see it that way at all. I don't want to relive my childhood. My mother died when I was four. My mother died when I was really young, too. Maybe I could help you. I should be mad that you were snooping around in here. But the truth is, I think it's neat that you're so gutsy. Especially since I'm so not gutsy. Oh, what the heck? Okay, Miles, let's hear the first riddle. Here is the first riddle. Listen carefully. To be told a truth long since put away, bring me the silvery remains of a four-bit day. I have no idea what he's talking about. I knew it would be a waste of time. Wow, here's the riddle immediately gives up. Don't worry, I'll solve it. Maybe it'll ring a bell with somebody else. I'll ask around. Do what you want, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Is there anything else I can talk to you about, though? Any luck with the riddle? I'm still working on it. Need something? I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll be right here. <laughs> no. Need something? Ah, uh, no. I'll, I'll come back later. Well, maybe Harlan knows the solution to the riddle. Let's see what he thinks. He's not here. Wow, let's just spy on his stuff now, because he's not here. Okay, so his code is 10, 11, and 90, right? Right? I need a tape. And if we had a tape, we could watch it. So, 10, 11, 90. 10. 11. 9, 0. Sweet, there's his hat. I wonder why he doesn't wear his hat. It would probably look good on him. And appointments. Louis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. Woo! And he's got secret, secret phone calls. He's gonna get some burgers. Yum. Sounds delicious. And he's got this tape I hidden in his shoes. On here. Uh, I'll just play it and find out. So let's see this tape. We're gonna spy on him. So the tape is the secret phone card. I mean, secret passcode. It looks like Harlan's been spying on Ingrid. Oh man, I need to write I that put down. This back where I found it. I'll never remember that number. Can I watch it again? So I, I think I saw like a seven or something. Zero, seven, two, six. 0726. Yeah, Harlan is probably going to Bonanza Burger in Bayport to meet with Joe Hardy and eat those cheeseburgers. Because the Hardy boys live in New Jersey, don't they? I think so. They live relatively close to New York. They live in the tri-state area, I think is what they call it. It's locked. And we could just totally spy on Ingrid while she's gone, now that we know the code. 0726. Excellent. So when she's gone, we can spy on this. Wow, that's one expensive watch. She bought like a $20,000 watch. It's crazy. Woo! Is Bayport in New York? I know New York and New Jersey are like next door neighbors. I... I, I... I don't know if Bayport is a real city or not. I'm pretty sure, like River Heights, it's just a fake imaginary city, Call not a real LH one. Call LH about results. LH. Lance Huffington, maybe? So, by spying on people, we got two different, um, what do you call them? Two fancy things there. We Phone numbers, phone numbers. I wish we could explore everything else, though. Yeah, so let's, let's do some phone calls. Call these... Mysterious phone numbers because we're gonna learn about them. So Harlan's guy is this one State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry. What did you say? I said State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office So he's a parole officer? You mean Mr. Guerra works with people who've just been released from prison? That's correct, but he's out of the office right now would you like to leave a message? 
Maybe you can help me. Do you know if he has a client named Harlan Bishop? Yes, he does. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? Maybe. Maybe not. I didn't say that, but when was he paroled, do you know? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me anytime. I'll let him know. Thank you. Alrighty. And then LH is probably going to be Lance Huffington. Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? She asked me to call you for a status report. Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> at least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multi-millionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. Woo! Alrighty. So, yeah, people are saying we need to call the Hardy Boys. Let's call the Hardy Boys. I think we actually have to call Bess and George. But calling the Hardys isn't bad, either. Hello? Hey, Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, Joe, pick up. Actually, he may not want to talk to you. Why not? Because you get to solve a mystery at an amusement park. He's so jealous he could spit. Hi, this is Joe. Hey, Joe, it's Nancy. I don't want to talk to you. What did I tell you? Oh, I'm just kidding. Pardon me for a second, I gotta go spit. Quit fooling around, Joe. She's calling long distance, remember? Sorry. So what's going on? <laughs> Wait, long distance? But I thought, I thought they were both in the same state of New Jersey. Now I'm really confused. Good news. Somebody activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks and tried to kill me. Why, that's wonderful, Nancy. Attempted murder never fails to boost my spirits either. No, it means that somebody I've talked to considers me a threat. And that means whoever's behind the mystery at Captain's Cove can only be one of four people. Do you guys know much about remote control devices? I had a toy car that used one. Until Frank broke it. Ancient history, Joe. Let it go. Why do you ask? Uh, it, I, <laughs> people are asking which Hardy Boy is the cooler one. I do like Joe in these games because he's the funny one. I feel like he's a lot funnier in the games than he is in some of the books. Because in some of the books, he's the really angry one. I like him much better as the funny guy who eats cheeseburgers all the time. Because that would explain the alleged hauntings. Someone who's nowhere near the carousel transmits a signal that turns it on and off. If that's the case... There has to be some kind of electronic device that transmits as well as receives near, or maybe even attached to, the carousel. I haven't checked out the carousel's machinery yet. Make sure you look hard when you do, Nancy. The device is probably pretty small. I better get going. See ya, Nance. Don't take any wooden nickels. Why would somebody be giving me wooden nickels? I don't know. Um, Bess and George. Hello? Hey, Bess. It's Nancy. Oh, hey, Nancy. Whoa, you were obviously hoping I was someone else. Well, kinda. Okay, so who is he and where'd you meet him? Oh, Nancy, his name's Matt, and he is so cute. He works the concession stand at the movie theater in the mall. A cute guy with an endless supply of gummy bears and butter flavoring. Right at his fingertips. We're talking major crush. Hey, George. Good. You're there, too. Barely. I almost got caught standing between Bess and the phone just now. When it rings, she's like a one-woman cattle stampede. Yeah, but in the previous game, Bess had caller ID. What happened to that? What happened to caller ID, Bess? My parents yanked it. She wouldn't pick up when it was some loser she didn't want to talk to. Her mother got tired of hearing the phone ring all the time. Not all those calls were from losers. Sometimes I was playing hard to get. Anyway, how are things at the amusement park? Well, I need your help with the translation stuff. I need you guys to do something for me. I found some stenography notes that I'd really like to translate, only I don't know shorthand. Say no more. We'll do some research and get right back to you. We will? I barely know how to spell stenography, let alone research it. We'll call you when we're through. We can do this, Bess. What is with all this we stuff? I think I might know why somebody stole that horse off the carousel. 
They were looking for jewels that had been hidden inside it after a hotel robbery. Hidden jewels? I love it! That's almost as good as buried treasure! But if they recovered the jewels, why is the carousel still going around by itself? I'm not sure yet, but the detective who is in charge of investigating the robbery is helping me look into it. Don't let George discourage you, Nancy. I, for one, think you're on the right track. You can never go wrong when jewelry is involved. <laughs> there was a brochure for a sports car in Ingrid's work area, the Pandora 2XS. That is like the hottest car ever. One of the most expensive, that's for sure. She must make a ton of money. Either that or she's about to come into a ton of money. Hmm. The engine oil thickens. I met the security guard, Harlan Bishop. Nice guy. Except when I asked him where he worked before. He seemed kind of evasive. Is he cute? Pess, what difference does that make? Ugly people have chips on their shoulders and are more likely to commit crimes, George. I read that somewhere. Either read it or saw it on Oprah. He gave me a pass that lets me ride all the rides and play all the games on the Midway. Unfortunately, almost all the rides are closed. Sounds like he could be trying to butter you up. And we know what that means, don't we, Bess? Suspect, Suspect list. list. I finally met the park's art director, Elliot Chen. We kind of got off on the wrong foot, but he's real friendly to me now. But is he too friendly? That's the question. Yeah, maybe he's trying to deflect suspicion by making nice. Hmm. Actually, I think he's using me as an excuse not to work. Apparently, he likes to put things off and is way behind schedule. Of course, now that the park is shut down... He can catch up. Which means maybe he had something to do with the accident that shut it down. Which means we've got two words for him, don't we, Bess? Suspect, Suspect list. list! I almost got creamed by the roller coaster when I was on the tracks looking around, and I don't think it was an accident. Someone tried to kill you? Ouch! I found one of Joy's chewed-up pencils just before it happened, but she says she doesn't know how it got there. Just from now on, stay away from that coaster, Nan. Stick to the carousel. Man, I never thought I'd hear myself say that. <laughs> I found out that the man who may have hidden jewels in that stolen carousel horse died in prison. But his cellmate, who apparently looks a lot like Harlan Bishop, was recently released. Harlan just started working there, right? And he doesn't like to talk about where he worked before, right? And he's been in prison. I saw the number for his parole officer while I was snooping around in his office. Oh my gosh, he could be your guy. What are you going to do now? I'm waiting to hear from his parole officer to verify that he is the guy. I'm debating whether to call Paula Santos in the meantime. I think you should, Nan. If you don't call her and you pull something else, she could be a little ticked. Hmm, okay, we can call her too. Catch you guys later! Be careful! Good luck! We'll just spend like 20 minutes making phone calls, I guess. Alrighty, here Paula. Paula Santos. Hi, Paula. Nancy, what's going on? So, Harlan... Here we go. I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. You do? You do? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. He said being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area. And he fits the description of the jewel thief's cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. You know, it would have helped if you had told me this earlier on, instead of, you know, letting me discover it myself. That, that took me a while. I found some notes that were written in shorthand. Would you happen to know any stenographers? No. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever even met a stenographer. Now that we're in the computer age, stenography has pretty much become extinct. When will the insurance company be sending someone out to investigate the roller coaster accident? Every time I call, I get the same thing. Someone will be out soon. Which is why I'd really like you to take a look, Nancy. No telling when they'll get around to it. What can you tell me about the people working at the park during the shutdown? I frankly don't know any of my employees that well. I'm really? a very hands-off kind of boss. I believe in hiring the best, then stepping aside and letting them do their best. You don't know anything about the people who work for you, really? Can you tell me anything about any of them? Hmm. Well, let's see. Ingrid Corey is extremely competent and has no problems managing the maintenance staff. Although... Some of her ideas are just a little out there? Exactly. But to each his or her own. So, where was I? There's Harlan Bishop, very conscientious. Elliot Chen, very talented, but a very slow worker. 
and Joy Trent very, well, Joy is hard to describe. I understand you and her father used to be business partners. I've yet to meet a man who was as terrific with people and as horrible with money as Daryl Trent was. He stayed afloat for 30 years on sheer charisma, I swear. Did he have any other children? Joy is an only child. Daryl worried about her constantly, always said she didn't laugh enough. Unfortunately, two years ago, he pretty much stopped laughing too. His bad investments caught up with him. He sold everything he could, but still wound up drowning in debt. Till one day in bankruptcy court, he just keeled over and died of a heart attack. That is sad. How did Joy take it? I really couldn't tell you. She has never said one word to me about her father, ever. I'll be in touch. You'd better. Alrighty, so I think that's that. Alright, so we're gonna go to Elliot. He might have... He, he's gonna have the, the riddle solution. Nancy, you're a procrastinator's dream, know that? Come in, ask me questions. Ask me lots of questions. I know you're busy, but I was hoping you could maybe help me solve a riddle. If I asked you for the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you give me? A riddle? I love riddles. Okay, let's see. Silvery remains has to be something silver that's left over, right? Okay, now, if two-bit means worth a quarter, four-bit would mean worth two quarters. Quarters. Captain's Quarters, maybe? The hotel adjacent to the park? Captain's Quarters Day. Day, spelled D-A-E, as in Sunday. That's it. There's this fantastic Sunday you can get only at the hotel. They call it a fun day. It's been their specialty for like centuries. Comes with a souvenir spoon, silvery, as in spoon, get it? That must be it. Thank you. Next riddle, come on. I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. I'll let you get back to work. If you must. <laughs> All right, we solved that riddle. Now let's get a fun day Sunday. It's gonna be delicious. Yum yum. Hotel operator, what do you want? Are you the regular operator? I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. She took the week off on account of the amusement park being shut down. You don't want an outside line, do you? Actually, I have a cell phone. Good. Use it. An outside line will cost you an arm and a leg. Besides, I'm not sure how to get you one. So, Miss Aaron, what do you want? Uh, that's Drew. Nancy Drew? Sorry, my cousin's handwriting reeks. So, what do you want, Miss Drew? I heard that there's a Sunday called a fun day that I can only get at this hotel. Could I order one? 2,480 calories worth of sheer heaven plus one official fun day silver dance bone coming right up. Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Wow, they made that quickly. Yum. Aw, oh, man, look at it. It's like a parfait with ice cream on top. Oh, that was so good. Why did they serve it with a knife and a fork? Well, whatever. We've got the souvenir spoon. This is what we need for Elliot. I mean, for Miles, the magnificent memory machine! Hello? This is Luis Guerra with the State Board of Parole. I understand you have some questions concerning Harlan Bishop. Right. Hi. Uh, yes, for starters, could you tell me what prison he was in? He served 30 months in Bayside State Prison for check kiting and forgery. He was paroled five weeks ago. Hmm. What is check kiting? Like, you take a bunch of cat, you take a bunch of checks, you sew them together into a kite, and then and then you fly them in the air. Was he ever at New Jersey State Prison? No, ma'am. Alrighty, so he's probably not the culprit we're looking for. Did he ever have a cellmate named Chaz Dunning? No, ma'am. As far as I know, Harlan is a security guard at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Now, do all these questions mean you know something about him that I don't? No, that's pretty much what I know, too. Well, I hope I've been of some assistance. Oh, you have. You've been a big help. Thank you. Good day, then. Bye. Hello? Hi, Nance. We found some stuff on stenography. Oh, so now it's we, huh? Okay, George found most of it. Surprise, surprise. But I helped. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. So go back to the hotel and check your laptop. We emailed a little tutorial to you. But you gotta promise to let us know what the note you translate says. I promise. Thanks again, you guys. 
Wow, two phone calls in a row. That's that's crazy times. Any luck? I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him the souvenir spoon you get when you order a fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters. I have one right here. Give it to Miles and see what happens. Lay it on me. Yeah, so somebody's, uh, we've got multiple people here in the live stream chat saying check kiting. It's basically just writing a bad check. If you don't have enough funds in your bank account, but you write a check that's too large for it, yeah, then the, the check will bounce. That's, that's how checks bounce. So purposely writing bad checks. Harlan, Harlan, Harlan. This is opposed to writing bad checks where, you know, like, it's bad because it's got terrible handwriting. It says mean things on it, like you're a poo 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 butt face. That that is a bad check, but that's that's not a crime, I don't think. The scan is complete. The object is correct. Your mother used to take you for a Sunday at the captain's quarters almost every week. Do you remember, Joy? The Captain's Quarters Fun Day. I do remember that. I was so small, I always had to sit on my mother's lap to eat it. I wish I could remember what she looked like. Don't you have a picture of her? You were very little when your mother died, Joy. Your grief came out as anger. Before your father could stop you, you destroyed every picture of your mother that he had. I did that? No. My father told me he had gotten rid of them. He always said some things are better left forgotten. Oh my gosh. I'm the reason I have nothing to remember her by. I'm sure your father helped you shut out the truth in order to spare your feelings. The older your father got, Joy, the more he realized that life is nothing but memories. He realized that even bad memories have a place in a good life. That is why he invented Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine! So where did the spoon Here go? Here is the second riddle. This one is written down. Please remove it. Did the spoon turn into a piece of paper? Cause I'm a little confused here. It's just a blank piece of paper. You and your mother used to love to play this game, Joy. Once again, I have no idea what he's talking about. Don't give up yet. If you still want to help me, please, Nancy, keep going. I feel like a door somewhere is starting to creak open. I'm kind of scared to open it, but I also kind of know I have to. Miles is definitely an amazingly well-programmed robot. He, he is just a fantastic robot. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I really appreciate your help. Joy's father really missed his calling when he didn't become, like, an expert robotics engineer. So let's see, a couple things we can do here. Get the keyboard, which was hidden here. We could have done this a while ago. Come on, trying to get my access card here. What is that? Sounds like it's coming from below. Oh, and there's a weird sawing sound. You can hear it, right? Sasa, -sa, seesaw, teeter totter. Guess we could have done this. Yeah, we could have done this a long time ago. Just an old radiator. Hmm, yeah, just an old radiator. Nothing too interesting. Let's go to Harlan, get another card. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I seem to have used up all the fun on my fun pass. Did you say I could get another one? I certainly did. Here you go. Enjoy. Thank you, sir. May I see that tape of the carousel haunting again? I got the tape right here, all queued up. Oh man, this is really cool. I can't wait to see it. It's gonna go bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Yeah! What? I'll see you around. Have fun. Alrighty. So, uh, the puzzle here is the Captain Quarters Hotel. We are just going to use the iron here. Turn it on. Use the iron on this piece of paper. So 
Sorry, I need to put the piece of paper down first. The first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune, plus one mouth organ, plus one smidgen of talent, equals one happy miles. It is a game over sequence if you don't forget to turn I need off to turn the, the iron. iron on. No, no, turn it off, Nancy. You want it off. You do not want it on, okay? That would be dangerous. Alrighty, so we got an email from our friends. It's really cool we got an email. Like, we have emails in this game. Woo! And this is what stenography is all about. Great. Beautiful. I do like the, uh, the dolphin, too. That's, that's pretty neat. Alrighty, so we need to go back to Joy and tell her about what we just saw. Any luck? There was a message written in lemon juice on that piece of paper Miles gave us. We're to play the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune on a mouth organ for Miles. My favorite band organ tune? I don't even know what a band organ is. Or a mouth organ either, for that matter. A band organ is what usually plays the music you hear when you ride a carousel. And a mouth organ is a harmonica. You used to play the harmonica for your mother all the time, Joy. Your favorite tune was the one you heard on the carousel. It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was stupid. I thought all the rides in the park were stupid. Joy, seriously, you need to actually try, okay? Do it for me, please. If you can't remember anything, this is gonna be impossible. I have been programmed to give you one hint. The tune is on the third roll. You will have to think about this one. End of hint. <sighs> it's all yours, detective. As usual, I'm stumped. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You're the greatest. That's what they tell me. So we need to get the harmonica, and we need to get the carousel. So to get the harmonica, we need to fix this. Unless I'm mistaken. So this is KM2... No, 5200. And we need to put in the name, and then super, and then the name. And also, I love this note from Nick Falcone. <laughs> I got this done, but I had to fight the power switch. The power relay switch to get it done the right. The keyboard is missing. So, I am writing... Super. And KM5200. Got it. Simple enough, I suppose. And that fixes the game. So now we can win it. Arr, time for oh, it's Barnacle Blast! Oh you no! You have four fun credits left on your card. Now blast all those nasty barnacles off the ship! Oh man, not this game. Okay, this takes forever. But we can do it. Ahoy, mateys. Let's do medium. Let's do medium mode. Just go left and right on your mouse. Did I say left and right on your mouse? I meant on the keyboards. On the keyboard. Okay. Alright. Gotta get some barnacles over here on the right. And, of course, it misses that barnacles, those barnacles completely. Yay! Alright, good. Yes? Okay. No deaths. No deaths. Yes? Oh no! Ow! That's why Barnacle Blast is the worst. One death, one minor mistake, and hey, guess what? You start over from the very beginning again. Huh. 
Okay. Yes. Yes. Gotta bounce it sometime. Yay! Okay. Alright. Yes. Okay, I got one token. Now I need to get level two. So I can get the second token. Okay, just bounce around at the top. Get rid of all those things at the top for me. Thank you. Wow, it's been staying at the top for a long time. That was nice. Now it's just bouncing around in the middle of nowhere. So get over to the left-hand side. Thank you. Alright. Did it! Woo! Okay. Done. Game over. I did it. Give me my tokens. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then the final game is called Swimmer's Itch, right over here. You're about to play Swimmer's Itch! You have three fun credits left on your card. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. So this is a slider puzzle, basically. It's a slider puzzle. Again, I'll do the easier mode. Um, there. <laughs> Woo! Uh, let's see. Oh, the sharks everywhere, maybe? Sharks, that goes up. Yes, there. Okay. And then, I always thought this is kind of cool how they're just diagonal, but I think we just move everything down, no, down, up, up. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm stuck. No. No, 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 no. Trying to get that shark as far over as I possibly can in the hopes of, like, actually doing something that's not working. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm a hurricane, guys. I, I think I'm dead. I think that's it. Try again. Let's play Swimmer Beach. You have two fun credits left on your card. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. Yeah, that that was just I I I. I'll try again. See if I can figure it out. All right. So let's see. Right, down, down, left, and up. <laughs> Up, left, right, up, left. Down, left that one. Like, yeah, this one shark is just refusing to get out of my way. I know, I know, okay. There, got it! Put that big oil tanker out of the way. I think we did it. 
All right, we've got all our tokens. Let's buy that harmonica. Sell this and anchor. Final one is this. Good. Yeah, you do have to do all the prizes in this game in order to win. So, just in time we managed to get that. We are going to go to the carousel. I think that might be victory music. I can't quite tell. So here in the carousel, we can go underneath. <sighs> time to start. This goes to the space underneath the carousel. And we do Wonder in fact find is. this thing. If I don't move, I'm gonna get skewered. It's the uh, magnet device, or whatever called the electronic device that the culprit use uses to start There's the carousel. There's something up there. Looks like a letter. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, yeah, that totally is how the carousel goes on and off in the middle of the night. And we have an old, old letter. The ballroom? That's what was converted into the haunted house. It's from Rolf Kessler, who built all the horses. So, there was a door to Kessler's workshop by the radiator in what's now the haunted house. Excellent. Guess I'm gonna have to call Tink, whoever he is. Yeah, we this need to call Tink like for help. This looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano. Excellent. So Tink is the one who's who knows how to work the role. So I'm gonna call him right now. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, this is Tink. Yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. I never heard of you. Yes, I know. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. So why are you calling me? I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? That's between me and Ms. Santos, I'm afraid. How do I know you even know Ms. Santos? Look, if you want to call her, I've got her number right here. I didn't drive 900 miles into the Canadian wilderness to call my boss. Anyway, I can't help you. I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're going to find out is to play it. Where is the third roll? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. There's a cabinet in there? That's right. 18, 9, 39. That's a combination. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Shaplow River is right here at the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta go! So what do you say? 18939? I see people in the chat are angry that I didn't kill Nancy. Why are you guys so cruel to poor Nancy? Can we get her destroyed again? No, no, no. It looks like that's a one-time only death scene. Alright. Sorry about that. So, 18939. Well, I know there's another death scene in the haunted house, so maybe we can do that. Eighteen, nine, and then 39. the song is on the third roll. This must be it. So it's on the third roll. Let's turn around. We go to the exit. Spin around again. The take-up dowel is broken. Wah, wah, wah. So we're going to need to fix it, obviously. That's going to be our next big puzzle. So let's go over here. Is 
let's see. Um, I'm not sure we can do this death sequence yet. But let's see. Nancy goes here. She knows there's a secret hidden area now. Right? And it's got the zap tech like this. It's locked. But it's locked. It's locked and I don't have the key. It's very sad for Nancy. All right, break time. I found this strange hidden door in the haunted house. Problem is, it's locked. Do you have any idea what's behind it? Ask Joy. That nutty professor father of hers always had these little secret projects going in the park even after he sold his interest. Miss Santos didn't have the heart to boot him out. I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be all right if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess, I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles? Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. Alrighty, so he just leaves me unsupervised to be attacked. You never know when you might need some tape. That's not very nice of him, I should say. And he's Those getting look like horse tails. Horse tails. Horse tails in the mail. Well, that's weird. Talk about tail feathers. That's a poppy dada. Oh, a poppy dada painting. How nice. Looks like that's his artwork. I know there's something else we pick up here. Here. These might come in handy. Yeah, those totally look like super useful things. So there's a death sequence here if uh, Nancy does not put on the glasses, unless I'm mistaken. Oh, I forgot to put on the, the, uh, the other take-up dowel. You're in the hospital with a piece of wood in your eye? Several pieces, actually, but the doctors got most of them out. I used Elliot's lathe without wearing eye protection. <laughs> Never do that again. Why were you using Elliot's lathe? I was making a new dowel for the band organ. I'm beginning to think being cursed is nothing compared to having you around. You're off the case. You're off the case, Drew. You don't follow basic safety prevention measures. What's wrong with you? All right, so we're gonna measure this. So it looks like we've got a line at 12, and then it's three to 11, and a line at 12. Three to 11, line at 12. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. Let's see if I can do this. I think it was all the way down on 3 to 11, right? Because it was a really, really thin line there. It's just gonna be a little tiny one. That looks perfect. Got it. Better leave these goggles here. Oh yeah, and we want to take a look at this. Hmm. If Elliot wrote this guy's number down, maybe I should too. So that is a carousel horse expert person. We are going to call him when we need a clue about something in particular. Excellent. Let's go here. And then we're gonna play the thingy, which I don't see here. Here it is.
need to put the tissue strips on first. We put on the tissue strips. Then we put on the tape. A E D E F E. I better turn this off. A E D E F E. Is that it? A E D E F E. A E D E. DCBA. I, I need to switch from CD to roll. Okay. I think I might have that that memorized because we do have to play it for Miles perfectly. If we don't do it perfectly, he gets mad. Kind of mad. Will Nancy Drew please report immediately to the security office? And by immediately, I mean don't even think about doing anything else. I I'll never remember. Come on. I better go to Harlan's. He sounds mad. Oh, but, 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 I needed to, ah. Uh... I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? You were spying on Ingrid. I'm sorry, but I thought she had a right to know what I know. You don't know Zip. I had nothing to do with the theft of that carousel horse. Just because I did time doesn't mean I'm guilty of every crime that comes down the pike, you know. It's just that when I found out you'd been spying on some of your co-workers... I wasn't spying on them! I just... I really think that to do my job right, I should be able to go anywhere in the park. You know, in case of emergencies. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry codes should be off limits. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. Oh man, yeah, that fight. Oh, that fight. Oh wait, I forgot the best part. Sorry, I don't feel like talking right now. My back's kinda sore, probably cause somebody just got done stabbing me there. Oh! Oh, the burns. Will Nancy Drew please report to the security office? Dude, I'm trying to reach Joy. Could you stop interrupting? Jeez. Any luck? I think we're all set. I know the tune, and I've got a harmonica. Play it for Miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. I don't feel like talking right now. A E D E F E A E. Hooray! I remember that song. I did ride the carousel. Over and over and over, always the same horse, always the same black horse. You loved the carousel, and you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse, and it was not spectacular, but you loved it, Joy. What was its name? I can't remember. Is the name important? I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse. You loved it so much that your mother bought it for you. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? That's interesting. The park must have a record of that transaction. I haven't seen it, but you're right. It must be around here somewhere. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Nancy. So this is when we need to do the stenography challenge. If you haven't already called Nancy's friends, then they... Where is it? Right here. Okay, yeah. I already picked it up from the drawer. But if you, have, if you haven't already called Nancy's friends and, and seen the stenography note, this is when you do it. The name of the carousel horse is Glory. Yep, the horse is named Glory. Removed from the ride. Fantastic. Miles, got your answer. Any luck? I know the name of that carousel horse your mother bought you. Glory. Glory. That's right! Glory! My mother gave him to me for my birthday! My fourth birthday. She died in a car accident that very night. How awful. No wonder you forgot how much you loved the carousel. It would have reminded you of your mother. I hated the park after my mother died. I hated the carousel. And I hated that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of... Miles, the magnificent memory machine! You would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and final riddle. 
Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number 10. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. We're in the home stretch. What do you say we do the rest of this together? No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Miss Santos and apologize. Alrighty. So, very dramatic learning about the death of Joy's mom and learning that she's the one who set off the roller coaster all in one fell swoop. A very productive meeting. I stepped out for a second, and when I came back, somebody'd left this envelope on my desk. Looks like it's for you. Got your name on it anyway. There's nothing inside but a key. Maybe it opens that door in the haunted house. Here, let me toss that envelope for you. I want to apologize for jumping all over you like that before. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that I would have done just what you did. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Yay, we're friends again. That's nice. So let's check the Demons of the Deep haunted house. Get that death sequence up and ready. Here. Use the zap tech thing. Then we use the key. And this gives us a secret area. Maybe these stairs go down to Kessler's workshop. Woo! No, they don't. They just lead to these pliers. Didn't Ingrid have what pliers was at the Ingrid said we needed to get her pliers at some point. Okay. Our Elliot borrowed them? Or, or something like that? <gasps> Ow! You were unconscious for how long? I'm not sure. Whatever fell on my head also fell on my arm and broke my watch. I can't afford any more accidents, Nancy. And since you seem to be rather accident prone, well, let's just say you're off the case. You're off the case, Drew. Oh. What was that? I don't know, but it seemed dangerous. Alright, so what you're supposed to do is back away. That way you're not crushed to death by an evil anglerfish. And that's good, because we need the pliers in order to do the... the Need the pliers for fixing that that particular thing in my bobber. I'm trying to remember the spook number ten. That's right. But what we need to do is call Mr. Sukov. A killer puffer fish. Oh no! My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the collector's hot sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I was hoping you could answer a question for me. I'd be delighted. Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least, I thought I did. It was an Austrian term of endearment, rather common. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Spatzi. That was it. Spatzi. S-P-A-T-Z-I. He always called her Spatsy. Oh, well, that's nice. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot. The place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did, and I thought, how odd. 
Because, you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense. Do you have any idea why someone would be going to the trouble of making the carousel turn on and off by itself? As a matter of fact, I do. I think that someone wants publicity. Whoever stole the horse wants people to know that it's gone so that when he or she goes to sell it, there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're talking about stolen property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? We're talking about the black market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by thieves and bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. Wow, this, this guy knows a lot about the black market. Hmm, have you been secretly selling carousel horses, sir? If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. The internet comes in very handy in such matters. Thanks for all the info. Always happy to share my mental wealth. Yeah, this guy is totally, like, s selling stolen goods. Totally. 100%. Let's see if Lance is still around. I Sorry, sports fans. I'm down at the courthouse right now, seeking fair compensation for my grievous neck injuries. Leave a message at the beep, and if I'm not in too much pain, I'll give you a call back. What am I doing? I don't have anything to say to him. I just wanted to talk to him, that's all, you know, we could be friends and, and, and stuff. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? So, wow, I've got a lot to talk to her about. Um, I found your pliers. They almost killed me. Here's your pliers. I found them in the haunted house behind a hidden door, which led to a booby trap. I told you mine were missing. Maybe somebody found them and left them by that door on purpose. I don't know. But they prove nothing, I do know that. Nah, she's denying everything. I found something underneath the carousel that looks like it might be a remote control device. Oh, I'd like to see it. Interesting. I looked under there. Wonder how I missed it. May I have this? Actually, I'd kind of like to keep it. Suit yourself. Did you know that the man who carved the carousel horses had a workshop under what's now the haunted house? How appropriate, considering Kessler's belief in the supernatural and all. I heard some strange sounds the last time I was in there. They seem to be coming from below. That's odd. I've been doing a lot of work in there lately and I haven't heard any strange noises. So either your ears are better than mine, or your imagination is. I understand that you know the man who got hurt in that roller coaster accident, Lance Huffington? I, I've talked to him. I don't really know him. You have his phone number. How did you meet him? Look, what are you getting at? I was just wondering if maybe you and he are in cahoots. Are you suggesting that he and I planned the accident? He gets on the coaster, I shut off the power, he cries whiplash and gives me half of whatever he gets from the lawsuit? Interesting theory. Unfortunately, it's totally wrong. I called him to tell him to rub his neck three times a day with witch hazel and lavender. If his neck is really injured, that will cure it. Why are you so eager to accuse me of something? It's weird, because Nancy already knows Joy is the culprit. She knows Joy was the one who turned off the carousel. I'm sorry, she knows Joy's the one who turned on, turned off the roller coaster. So, it's like, why is Nancy even accusing Ingrid now? Are you really going to tell me that you can afford a $20,000 gold watch on the salary you earn working here at the park? All right. I have been making money on the side. But it's not what you think. I've been helping someone design a roller coaster. I even let him borrow the blueprints for our coaster, so he could study them, not steal them. I kept it secret because it could be construed as conflict of interest. This guy knows I'm taking a risk, so he pays me very well. Now, your turn. It's obvious that you've been nosing around in here. How did you get in? Well, it seems that one of the security guards has been doing a little extracurricular surveillance work. Harlan. I knew it bugged him that this place was off-limits, but spying on me? That guy's got a real problem. As for you, I'd appreciate it if you would kindly remove your nice and deficient little self from my office. I have work to do. 
Oh. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Oh, wait. She was angry, and now she's not angry anymore. Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. Okay. Fine. Wow, I thought... I thought the... <laughs> Thought she would be angry at me for a little longer than that, but she's not. So spook number ten, we need to put Spotsy there. I Looks guess. Looks like spook ten is missing. It's been red tagged. Better not take the tag until I fix this. I forgot to check that out. I forgot to notice spook number ten is missing an arm. So now I can ask Ingrid about it. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? There's a dummy in the haunted house that's been red tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created. Probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. It works, though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Yeah, I have yours. Oh, and don't forget to take the red tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. Alrighty, so this is the end game sequence. You guys want me to call anybody else before we end the game? Is there is there like anything else we should do? Just uh, leave a message in a chat letting me know. So we put the arm on. We pliers it into place. Call the Hardy Boys and set the hotel on fire. Alrighty. That call looks tight enough. Call Paula. We still need the red tag. I need tag to take in. this red tag back to Harlan. We still need to get that red tag. Alright. So, setting the hotel on fire was here, right? Let's see if I can still do it. Yes, I leave the iron on and then I just try to leave casually. Hello? This is Paula Santos. I'm standing outside what's left of the Captain's Quarters Hotel. What happened? Well, according to the fire marshal, someone left an iron on in your room and burned the place down. Oh no, I forgot to turn it off. You're at an amusement park, not a formal dance. What on earth were you ironing? A piece of paper. A what? No, never mind. I don't want to hear it. When I asked you to come out here, I expected to pay for your room, not the entire hotel. Consider yourself off the case. You're off the case, Drew. You're a loose cannon cop, and I need to take you off the case. So let's see, I was going to go to Harlan here. Hello, this is Paula Santos. Oh, wait, I'm what? Standing outside what's left of the Captain's Quarters Hotel. What happened? Well, according to the fire marshal, someone left an iron on in your room and burned the place down. Oh no, I forgot to turn it off. You're at an amusement park, not a formal dance. What on earth were you ironing? A piece of paper. A what? No, never mind, I don't want to hear it. When I asked you to come out here, I expected to pay for your room, not the entire hotel. Consider yourself off the case. My mistake, everyone. I need to turn the iron on. No, no, you don't need to burn the hotel down again, Nancy. That would be... That would be weird. That, that would not be a good idea. Hotel operator, what do you want? I'd like to order a fun day, please. Another fun day, huh? Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Saving you has been a pleasure. Yummy. Now I get to have two of them in the same day. Mmm. So much ice cream and hot fudge. So much. Yes. So yummy. All right. Call the Hardy Boys. Visit Harlan. And here we go. Let's call those Hardys again. Let's see if Frank and Joe have anything new. Hello? Hey Joe, it's Nancy. Frank, phone, it's Nancy. How's it going? Well, I haven't solved the case yet. Great! Uh, I mean, oh, what a shame. Hi Nancy, what's up? 
Someone made a very serious attempt to drop something very heavy on me while I was in the haunted house a little bit ago. What happened? An alleged friend left me a key that opened a door I'd found in there. Behind it were some stairs, and at the end of the stairs, there was nothing. Except a booby trap. Right. You don't know who gave you the key? Somebody left it for me in Harlan's office. He didn't see who it was. Or so he says. Somebody has obviously caught on to the fact that you know your stuff, Nancy. So be careful. Any suggestions as to my next move? Check out the thing in Joy's office that's black and white and red all over. There's an embarrassed zebra in Joy's office? I better get going. See ya, Nance. Don't take any wooden nickels. I wonder why they're telling us to take a look at the newspaper in her office. We've already done that. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I found an old letter in the gear room of the carousel. It was written by the guy who carved all the horses, Rolf Kessler. Is it okay if I keep it? As far as I'm concerned, I'll mention it to Miss Santos, see what she says. I found some kind of electronic device under the carousel. I'm pretty sure someone has been turning the carousel on and off at night by remote control. Why would somebody want to do that? Whatever you found was probably just some kind of toy that fell out of some kid's pocket. No, seriously, that, that is, that's what the thing is, dude. Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You've really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. May I see that tape of the carousel haunting again? I got the tape right here, all queued up. No, seriously, why can't Nancy just demonstrate how the carousel works using that ZapTech thing? It, it would be really easy to do. Oh, well. Kessler used to have a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Have you ever been down there? I didn't even know there was a down there there. So you don't know anything about the hidden door in the room that has the old radiator in it? Sure don't. Never heard any of the other guards say anything about it either. I'll see you around. Sounds good. Lots of people have said I need to order a cheeseburger. Uh, let's go back and order a cheeseburger. Alrighty, let's do it. Let's get some cheese. Cheeseburger, yum yum. Hotel operator, what do you want? I'd like to order a fun day, please. Another fun day, huh? Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Looks like I have to take a look at the menu first. Mm. Three fun days. All right, let's look at this menu. A room service menu. All right. Hmm, veggie platter, hamburger. All right. Wish we could see the other things. Spaghetti, spaghetti Malone, fresh from the sea matter. Mmm, yeah, yeah. I mean, I want some spaghetti. <laughs> that would be cool. Hotel operator, what do you want? I'd like to order the hamburger platter with milk instead of a soft drink. One hamburger platter with moo juice. It'll be there in a few. Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Not bad, I suppose. I like how we have a, a, a fun day thing there, but when I zoom in, it's not a fun day thing anymore. Hmm, yeah, that looks like a programming error. Let's go to... I don't think we've talked to anybody else now. Yep, yep, nobody's here hanging around. I guess we could talk to Elliot. Hey, Nance, what's going on? I noticed you have a poppy dada. We met at an art show last year. She insisted I take that piece home with me. She'd never admit it, but she thinks I'm hot. Really? Hmm, I don't know about that, but Poppy is a good friend of mine. I have a theory. Someone stole that carousel horse, then made it look like the carousel was haunted, so the publicity would make the horse worth more on the black market. I'd be impressed, except for one thing. No amount of publicity can change the fact that the stolen horse was not carved by Rolf Kessler. But, but, but there was a horse swap. The thing is, I just found out who bought the carousel horse that was replaced years ago. The horse that was stolen was definitely not the one that had been replaced. Well, then I guess I stand corrected. Ha ha ha! Then you do stand corrected. All that wood you recently ordered, what did you say it was for? <sighs> okay, if you want to know the truth, I was going to try my hand at carving a carousel horse to replace the stolen one. I didn't want to tell anybody in case I stank at it. 
Really? Somebody who was good at it could make a small fortune selling duplicates of the stolen horse on the black market, couldn't they? You know, Nance, I've got a lot of work to do. And much as I love our little gab fests, my work just ain't getting done. So I'm afraid, as of now, this chat room is closed. Bye bye Oh, wow. Ouch. Hey, Nance. What's going on? Oh, wait. No, he forgives me. I'll let you get back to work. Rock on. <laughs> never, never mind. Takes him three seconds to forgive me. All right. Whatever. Let's go to the end game sequence. The nickname on spook number 10 was our clue. It was Spotsy. S P A T Z I. Now I put the brass ring here on spook number ten on the arm. Oh joy! This is it! A top secret hidden area! It's another secret room! Alright! That must be Glory! Ooh, and that is the horse, Glory. Uh, these stairs sure don't feel very safe. They do look sort of broken, like, yeah, that wood is rotten. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh, poor Nancy, she must have really hurt her head. Oh my gosh! These must be jewels from that jewel heist. No, seriously, if Nancy is, like, hospitalized after falling off the carousel horse, then she should be hospitalized after that. And what do you know? We've got... I should probably take these with me. Jewels. Jewels from the carousel heist. The horse, the jewel heist. Any anyway, I said there were stolen jewels still inside one of the horses. This is one of those horses. That horse had stolen jewels inside. There's a necklace! Nancy, grab the necklace instead of leaving the necklace there. Oh. A letter. Joy's father must have left it for her. My dearest Joy, I hope Miles and his riddles have helped you remember how much you adored this horse and how dearly you loved the woman who gave it to you. I found this picture of her years ago, but I didn't want to give it to you until I knew you were ready. She loved you more than anything, Joy. We both did, Dad. P.S. If you want to see where Glory was carved, look for Kessler's symbol on the wall. I could never spend a lot of time in there. Very strange vibes. It's a very private letter and Nancy just reads it. Right. That must be Joy's mother. She was beautiful. Nancy doesn't care about Joy's privacy or about that one necklace. In Nancy's defense, she was the one who solved like all the riddles. So, you know... So Joy, much for the stairs. Joy really didn't help that much. It was all Nancy. And yeah, wow, Nancy just destroyed those stairs. Smashed to pieces, Nancy. Well, anyway, let's go in here. This should connect to that hidden passageway we saw earlier, the one with the giant puffer fish. So this was Kessler's workshop. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the puffer fish is on the other side of this door. This is the workshop. Though. I'll bet that's the carousel horse that was stolen. Wow. Is the carousel horse that was stolen just coincidentally really, really close to the, ho the horse that was sold. And when you know, somebody is making copies of that horse. Somebody's been making reproductions. Or should I say forgeries? Lots of them, it looks like. Oh my gosh. Ah, it looks like there are two of them all ready to go. Oh dear. Hey, I've got two potential buyers. They learned about the hauntings on TV. How can you get two of them done? Ah, 40, 60 split. That'll work, right? Hey, three to five weeks is too long. Come on, come on. You've got to do it quickly. Hey, it's taking me longer than I thought it would, okay? It's going to take me another three weeks, okay? Yeesh. Alrighty, so the culprit is definitely making forgeries. I mean, we already figured it out, basically, but yeah, culprit's definitely making forgeries. So who do you think the culprit is? We'll find out right now. Nancy, 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 what have you done? 
It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Uh -oh. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well. Little icing on the cake. Uh-oh. He's going to attack me. He's going to attack me. So what we have to do is throw the diamonds in his face. Because if we don't, he chokes us. Like this. But if you think I'm letting you have them, you're nuts. You're toast now, Nancy. That was a creepy death. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. What have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well. Little icing on the cake. Somebody is asking, so... Is Joy's father the one who stole the diamonds and jewels and hid them inside the horse? Or is it just a coincidence he happened to buy the one horse which has jewels inside it? I think it's just a coincidence. That's right. You want him? Here! Ouch! Hey! Ha ha! I've gotta get out of here! So we need to escape up that passageway. I'm trapped! I've gotta get out of here! I've got you, Nancy. You're cornered. Uh-oh. Might as well give up. He's following me. He's being nasty and evil. I should call the police right now. It would be rude to use my phone now. Okay, never mind. Well, if he's just gonna stand there waiting for a while, then I'm gonna move the sign back. Ah! Uh -huh! Soon as I get out of here, I'm gonna call the police, Elliot. So don't bother making plans for tonight. <laughs> or the next 10 years. Dear Ned, after trapping Elliot, I managed to pry the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. Needless to say, he's gone back to not liking me. Harlan, on the other hand, adores me now, because not only did he share the credit for busting Elliot, but his sudden fame brought him three job offers. He's staying on at Captain's Cove out of loyalty to Paula, but he's happy knowing that being an ex-con will probably never be an issue for him again. As for Ingrid, she promptly attributed Elliot's bad behavior to a deficiency in some mineral I couldn't pronounce. And Joy, when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started smiling and has yet to stop. Inventing Miles was the best thing her late father could have done for her. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was riding the carousel. Ever yours, Nancy. Woohoo! Yay! Sassy detective, you solved the case. You are a puzzle master. Very good at solving puzzles. Woohoo! reached 555-4468. I can't come to the phone right now, so please leave a message. Hi, Bess. Hi, George. Well, thanks to you guys, I'm leaving here and flying directly to the Pacific Northwest for some much-needed R&R. George, I just got off the phone with that marine biologist friend of yours. She insisted I stay with her, and she even said she'd take me whale-watching on the tour boat she owns. Anyway, thanks for arranging this little vacation, you two. One whole week of peace, quiet, and sitting around doing nothing. This is going to be awesome. Bye. Nancy Drew on a quiet vacation? <laughs> As if. It's Nancy Drew number nine. Danger on Deception Island. Coming soon. <laughs> All right. So that's the end of the game. 
Hope you enjoyed watching the live stream. Thanks for watching, everyone. Definitely a fun game. I like this game. I like it a lot. It was the first game, as I said, first Nancy Drew game I played, so it holds a special place in my heart. I, I, I really like that ending, which is very dramatic. That's a lot of fun. I do like the phone calls in the game as well. There are a lot of phone calls in this game, and pretty much all of them are interesting. I can't think of, like, a phone call that I'd say is terrible and needs to be replaced. I do like, yeah, that we have speed dialed. Nancy's phone is great. It's a good phone.